Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So let's have an update on this canvas. If you remember, pop that onto one side a second and I'll keep it there. You can see it. If you remember, um, I decided to roll it back up after I'd taken it apart. So it's a double sided tape and we decided to see if it did ruin the canvas um, by rolling it back up again. Now this has only been rolled back up a week so that may, might make a difference. So when I've done this, I've unrolled it and we've had a look. I am then going to roll it back up and we'll have a look again, possibly in another week, maybe in two weeks. I did get a couple of people also ask me as well or say, oh, I thought you were going to roll it the other way. So this is my giraffe canvas that I also unboxed at more or less the same time. So it's more or less the same age as this canvas. Um, so I'm going to roll this one the other way and we'll see how it goes. The only thing is I've not got a foam roller so I'm just going to have to try and roll it around something and I can't think what. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is use a bit of bubble bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Do you know that's just sounded so wrong but it is bubble wrap. Uh, let's see if this will make into around and see. See, I want a girl guide for nothing. <laughs> like to try different things okay so let's just roll this around see if we can get this into it'll be similar to a foam roller won't it oh millie agrees millie agrees <laughs> it's not quite as long it's not going to be quite the same experiment but uh, yeah it's more or less a foam roller so okay we'll do that actually let's do that now and then we've got this one out of the way time. Lily's just having a little bit of a chat so I am now rolling this one the other way around this and we'll see how we go. So this canvas actually came in better condition than the rose. So let's try and keep it as sort of tight as possible because they do roll them tight on these rollers. You'd think all the diamond paintings I've unboxed over the couple of years I've been doing it that I would have <laughs> oh dear, that I would have another foam roller somewhere but I just haven't okay I've been having a bit of a clear out right where's the end on this washi tape there it is okay it's just coming undone slightly again so we'll just give it another quick squidge up this one I am going to turn into poured glue canvas I am going to take off all the double-sided tape anyway so it doesn't matter if it gets all creased and everything okay so that's the washi tape there let's grab that middle and give it a quick wind round so the people that asked what will happen if you roll it the other way we'll find out see what happens so that's that one done so now let's have a look at this one and see if anything has happened to this over the time it has been re-rolled up. Oh, we've got a few sort of creases here, but has that affected the canvas? Let's see, let's see. As I say, this has been down a week. So let's just take that bit of washi tape off. Oops. And let's see see whether we have got any rivers or bubbles so oh we've definitely got some there look wow okay we've got two rather large ones there which are towards the middle yeah you can see those look at that but this end that was the sort of outside edge as it were we haven't but that end we have okay and let's have a look at this one that felt like a bit of a bump as well so where it's closest to the foam roller is where the river has actually occurred so it is going to affect your canvas if you do re-roll it up but to me that's not too bad i mean i've actually received canvases that have had a river on it that look like that but if you can see it goes all the way across there we've got one form in here and then we have got one that sort of goes halfway there. So, okay, see if we can just get that in 
yeah you can see it there going all the way down there you can't really see the one that's on the large petals but you can see that one that's next to the large one and then you can see it on the back probably better can you yeah you can see we've got it on the back there okay so what's actually happened there then as we've re-rolled it the tape is sort of like <laughs> it's grabbed me it's grabbed me <laughs> can i ever do anything serious huh <laughs> So the tape has actually lifted away from the canvas underneath and sort of like scrunched itself up so that now the canvas won't lay flat. So what you need to do, let's see if this will work, I'm using my craft knife, is grab your craft knife and just literally where that river's running along, just put your craft knife down just so it goes through. You can hear it just cutting. Oops doing this very straight just going through not the canvas but just the top double-sided tape and same on that one there and then what that's redo doing is releasing the two sides of the double-sided tape that are holding it together and forcing it to go down so let's see this should now yeah, flatten down look you may need to do it more than once um, but that is how that works and that's how to get rid of a river from a canvas as well or you can do the score method where you just literally put lots of little scores into it you're not affecting the sticky you're not affecting the canvas at all you are just literally flattening the tape back down again okay just say just don't do it too hard otherwise you will cut through your canvas and you don't want to do that so let's just pop that back down again okay and as you can see now that is starting to flatten again so that's in a week so within a week we've already got two big rivers it's like you know if you're wrapping a parcel um and you end up putting the tape across your parcel and one bit's not quite caught the paper underneath and then you have to cut the tape in the middle so that it releases it um i don't know whether i'm explaining that very well but that's what it seems like to me oh that's gone a little bit skew with but i'm gonna really um be nasty to this canvas now because i'm gonna roll it back up again and see where we are and i say leave it a little bit longer this time and just see what happens leaving it longer okay so we've more or less flattened those out now because I've literally released the tape. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, we've still got that big crease on that side. Oh no, it's coming out, look. Now, because I've flattened, taken the tension out of the tape, and it's flattened. I'm gonna, that one's flattened as well. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna roll this one back the same way because we have got that one that's rolled that way. Okay. I do like doing these little experiments. I've always taken other people's word for it that you would ruin your canvas um, if you rolled it back up. So I just thought, I wonder how it ruins it and is it retrievable and what exactly does happen? So yeah, quite useful. But yeah, I mean, we ended up with those two big rivers for starting. So I wonder if we carry on doing it, if we will completely ruin it all together. It will be interesting to see. It's not going to be ruined because I can always take the double-sided tape off. You could even put double-sided tape back on it again. Um, but so I will turn them into poured glue, which is easiest. Well, not easiest. Believe me, it's not easy to take the double-sided tape off. But I am looking at different ways of doing that. But uh, yeah, so that was uh, quite interesting. That was after a week. Not irretrievable. And as I say, I have... Um, actually had canvases <laughs> that have had worse rivers in them that than that arrive delivered and as I've opened them they've looked worse than that so that one will be interesting I think that one will probably go worse because you're folding the glue back around on itself whereas this one you are still at least stretching the tape the glue um away from the canvas this one you're scrunching it back into itself so I think this one will fare the worst but let me know in the comments which one do you think will come out best and which one will come out worst 
or have I totally ruined both of them? <laughs> Okay, well, just a quick one, just a quick update, um, and we'll see what happens. So, thank you ever so much for uh, coming along and watching this little experiment with me, and thanks for all the comments from everybody as well on it. It seems as though it sparked quite a bit of interest with people. Well, if you've enjoyed seeing it, if you could give me a thumbs up, it is always much appreciated, and it just lets me know I'm on the right track and gives me a little bit of a boost with YouTube. And if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, then you will be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss any updates on this. So thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.